Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. In this video, I want to talk about, uh, should be a very small uh, short video. Make sure you watch my previous uh, videos uh, which are related to iOS development. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, what are the three technical steps which need to be performed so that your Xcode and your Apple iMac is uh, ready to be used as a developer machine so that you can develop uh, apps for iPhone or iPad or for, for that matter should be for any other iOS device. So what are the three most important steps which need to be performed before you can write any code? Okay, so as I said, this is hopefully should be a very short video. So I'll start Xcode. So the first thing first is go to preferences, go to the accounts tab and for your account, make sure to and once you click manage certificates. So make sure to download the certificate from the Apple. Just click on this and it should get you a certificate on your for your Xcode. So this is used for establishing a trust between your Xcode and your iOS device. So this is very crucial. Uh, you need to do this. So make sure you download the certificate via this method. And once you are done, click on the done button here. So that should be the first step. And the second is if you go to the window menu, so there is an option called as devices and simulators. Uh, make sure when you connect your device, it is listed here. So the device which you need to use for development purposes should be listed here because uh, Xcode builds a cache of files which are necessary to, uh, for um, whether it's for debugging or whether it's for deployment against this device. So the device which needs to be used with the Xcode need to be listed here. So for example, in my case, I have my iPhone 7 connected just for the demonstration purposes. So this is how it should be here. So make sure you your device is listed here and Xcode will automatically do its magic. And the third, I will close this window. And the third option, which I think I have already covered in my previous video, but I'll just cover it once again. So for example, if I create a new project, uh, say iOS app uh, should be very quickly. I'll just say hello and make sure you select the correct team uh, should have been automatically selected when you created the certificate. So that's it. And just provide some unique ID here. So for example, in my case, it is uh, this is what I'm going to use and say next. Just create any folder here. And this is the final step basically. So you have already performed two steps of uh, downloading the certificate from uh, the developer certificate from the Apple website. You have uh, registered your device with Xcode. And the third is uh, go into the signings and capability tab. So this again is very important. Make sure that you have selected everything correctly. Here. A team should be selected. If it is selected, yes, you have done this. And if you click on build now, for example, if you want to uh, build the product. So just say build for running, for example. And it should build without any problems or without any errors. Basically, you should see a message called build succeeded, uh, succeeded as you just saw. So I hope this short video is uh, of uh, some use to you. Uh, this will save you a lot of headaches. When I was a beginner, I was also uh, petrified. What are the steps which need to be performed? So these things can be very easy to miss and uh, you don't have to go searching around the net for this thing. So hopefully you have enjoyed this short video. I will see you shortly in the next one. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Cheers. Bye bye.